that and correct that fairly easily. So there's clearly pros and cons to any technique. But now we can get them all on one PDF file here, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and print it. So there it is. And let's uh, minimize and, and minimize. And I'm going to save it overriding the reports here. And save it. Boom. And then open up the reports. So now we've got our balance sheet that we did in a prior presentation. We've got our comparative balance sheet. We've got our vertical analysis. We've got our, our uh, income statement. And then we got the vertical analysis income statement, the quarter by quarter, which I should fix because it's messed up down there. Comparative income statement all in one area. And people can then of course sort around in the PDF file pretty, pretty nicely these days because of the the uh, easier use of programs these days makes things a little bit nicer. Okay, so let's open back up. Uh, here, also note if I go to the first tab that we have now saved these in our reports. I didn't do it as meticulously as I have before, but you know we've got the custom reports over here. Only the ones we created this time because we reset the data. But if I have all of my custom reports in here, then I can I can just uh, open them up whenever I need them, which is which is uh, quite nice. I might be providing these reports monthly, quarterly, yearly, for example. And uh, if we have it set up uh, cleanly, then we could just set the, the, the process one time and, and possibly assign someone else to print the reports or something like that fairly easily. We can sign out the task possibly.